Hi folks, thanks for joining me on today's Dragon Teeth where I'm doing some more construction. 10 mil last time, this time we're scaling up to 28 mil and uh, I've got a couple of things here I'm going to be building. Now these are for two projects. The first one is we've got the Innsmouth Literary Festival coming up at the end of September. We have a number of things going on there. We've got Charles Stross as our guest of honour. We've got panels, we've got a trader's room and of course we've got a gaming room. There'll be some RPGs going on, some Call of Cthulhu stuff, but also some tabletop games as well. One of which is going to be a battle for Innsmouth. We're going to attempt to recreate Innsmouth or parts of Innsmouth in 28mm on a tabletop and we'll be running a game that people can drop in on throughout the day. So, of course, we need some buildings. There's a ton of stuff down at Bedford Gladiators, thankfully, that we've been able to use. But there's a few other little bits and pieces we need as well. So I was scouting around on the internet, as one does, and I looked on the TT Combat site. I found this wonderful building. It's actually billed as a Gothica Public Library, but I thought this would make an excellent esoteric order of Dagon, which of course will be familiar to those of you who have read The Shadow Over Innsmouth. So that's going to be that building. On the same site I also found uh, a couple of these. These are raised mediums streets. I think they're for Carnival, that game set in Venice, but I thought these would do very nicely as the harbour front, just basically blocks. And then something I got a little while ago, I bought this uh, at Auk's Nest when I was down in London a while back. This is a New England church, and this is made by Renedra. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I thought this would make a great centerpiece for Innsmouth Cemetery. And I've got some other bits and pieces as well, but I'll get in, into all that when I build the actual cemetery. And I said for, for two projects, so as well as for the Innsmouth game, these will also fit very nicely into my 28mm skirmish game as well. As I've said before, the first scenario of which is going to be set in a haunted cemetery. So what I'll do today is get these assembled. They all look pretty straightforward. I can't foresee there'll be any problems. If I get time, I'll do a bit of spraying and hopefully get them painted up as well. Let's see how it goes.
All right, so there's the construction finished on those three models. As before with the EMDF, I followed Ove's tip of undercoating with a spray of varnish before putting on the paint undercoat. The church, of course, is plastic, so that just got the spray coat. Uh, I haven't had time to paint those this week, but there's, there's not any big rush. They're not gonna be required for another month or so. Having said that, <laughs> you know how time flies. The harbour pieces uh, are, are nothing special, so they'll just get a sort of dry brush in grey. That'll be pretty much it for those. The church will just get a straightforward paint job. But for the building that's going to become the East Terrick Order of Dagon, I want that to be a bit of a centrepiece on the table. So I'm going to get the airbrush out, I think, for that one and see if I can give that a bit of a, a sort of special finish maybe add in some little bits of uh, green mould and, and all that kind of stuff, just to really bring out the Innsmouthness of the building. Now, in between putting those buildings together and waiting for the glue to dry and doing some spraying and what have you, I did manage to get another couple of bits done as well. The first is a 10 mil siege tower. That's from Pendraken. That's gonna be getting some use very soon because in our Bane Wars campaign, if you've been following that, we do have a siege in the offing. Uh, I think we're gonna be playing that out this week. So I needed the siege tower, very easy to put together. Uh, I'm probably not gonna have time to paint that at the moment, but that will do as it is. And I got some 10 mil buildings as well. I've done about half of those. That's from the same chap that I got my 10 millimeter fault from that I built. Uh, I think it was, was it the last upload or the one before? Anyway, a week or so back. And just as with default, these went together very easily. So I shall get those finished and they'll be ready for our Fantastic Battles games as well. There we go, that's it for today then. The big build has started, both for the Battle for Innsmouth game, which you'll be able to see and take part in at the Innsmouth Literary Festival. It takes place in Bedford on September the 28th. I'll put the link down below for that. And of course, the Ant and Church are gonna form part of my first fantasy skirmish scenario, which is gonna be set in the Haunted Graveyard. And I've got the rules pretty much done for that now. I'm gonna be putting some boards together. I probably won't get all that finished till after the ILF, because that's gonna take a lot of time over the next month or so. But anyway, do keep an eye out for that in the relatively near future. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm very interested in hearing your feedback, comments, questions, suggestions, and a big thanks, of course, to all our new subscribers to the channel. Please do like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, it really does help the channel to grow. All right, that's it for me for now. I'll see you next time.